up guys the suicide fox coming at you with another escapist to day one escape we are on wicked ward this is uh i guess officially the first dlc map basically a halloween themed map there's ghosts there's pumpkins there's vampires there's zombies and we're going to be escaping here in one day now the escape that we're doing is called grave affair and basically it involves you doing a mission tree for this one particular prisoner who happens to be prisoner number one who i named smarty I gave a little little hat to uh the name of the mission is called my zombie and basically you have to it's kind of like the fort tundra one where you gotta do a series of missions uh they're actually quite a lot easier this is only my like fourth or fifth attempt at it uh and the the hard part there's only one real part in this that's that's kind of tough to get around because uh, there is uh, a pattern to the way that the items spawn. So the first item is always going to be the zombie hand, and it's always going to be in one of the desks that's not a... Uh, it's always going to be, like, you know, one of the non-inmate desks or non-locked-behind-a-door uh, like desk. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to be uh, crafting a little flower here. Now, you do want to try and do these uh, as soon as possible. Sometimes uh, you're... Your number one prisoner there will have a job, so you want to try and do all this before job time. We will going to need to read to get to uh, 60 intelligence, uh, but we're going we're gonna to work on that a bit later. So I'm just trying to kind of optimize my path here, so that way I can do as many missions as, I, as possible before we have to actually craft anything that requires intelligence. Uh, and if you do happen to get where he has a job, I would recommend just kind of restarting just because right after breakfast time is job time and you usually can't do you could just barely do the first three uh, before job time so if you don't get the the third one by job time if you don't don't get done with this one in particular the one where you have to go and get him the uh, the energy drink by that time then you might as well as restart because you're not going to be able to do much for the rest of the day now, one thing about this map is that there's it's quite easy to get around and get away from the guards and like check desks and stuff so you don't really have to worry about that but uh, you do have to worry about they do have some very well placed uh, detectors you got to worry about and uh, you also got to worry about uh, that there's quite a lot of guards especially uh, that middle staircase you guys see there that goes down to the guard room and we are gonna have to go down there in a moment uh, once we get the red key, we're going to get a mission where we're going to have to go down there. So we're going to need the red key to go down there. And it's really tricky to go down there and navigate when you have 100 heat. So if you guys are trying to take the slow, safe way, then make a copy of the red key and uh, keep it in your desk until you get to that mission. Uh, otherwise, you can pretty much do what I'm doing here because we are doing the one-day escape speed run. So now that I have all the items I need to craft the inmate outfit, we're going to just kind of head up here and we're going to start reading. And we want to read to 50 intelligence uh, in order to craft the plated or the uh, padded inmate outfit. And uh, sometimes finding drinks on this map is kind of tricky. There is another uh, reading area somewhere on the map, but this one I think is the best choice for, for doing it because it's not behind a door, it's in like a pretty good spot to get to other places where you need to go, that sort of thing. And if you need to refresh your stamina and you do not have sodas, you can always go to this very first cell on the bottom right uh, where you guys see that toilet, you can go into that cell and take a nap on the bed. Which I believe we are going to do a little bit later. So we just drank all our sodas. We're just trying to get as high as we can. We want to get to at least 50. Because we need to craft a few items. We have to. It's kind of weird. You craft one item at 30, then 50, then 40, then 50 again. Uh, and then the very last thing you have to do is you have to craft a knuckle duster, which is uh, 60 intelligence. Uh, so here we're gonna, I'm gonna attempt to craft it, and I believe I'm not gonna have enough. Oh no, I am gonna have enough. Okay, so we, we got it. We got our 50 intelligence. And just so happens that Smarty is right there. So we're gonna go and hand that off to him, and then we're gonna come here, and now we're gonna make an axe. So the axe is one of the special items in this level, uh, and I believe you can only get it by uh, doing this mission. Right there, the, uh, 
prisoner whose desk I was searching. That happens to be his desk. Uh, that's why he took a swing at me. I didn't want to actually fight him. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of run away from him. This did uh, suck a little bit of time off of my off of my end run, which uh, this ended up being number two on the leaderboards. Uh, I could have probably have gotten number one if I didn't screw up. I, I, I screwed up at a few key points that slowed me down. Uh, but in any case, we're going to get the last items. We're going to craft the axe, and we're going to use the axe to beat up a, an inmate for this mission. But we also want to use the axe to beat up a guard for the, uh, I believe it's the very next mission after this. So it's very convenient that you get this axe when you do, just because you can use it for basically two missions in a row. It's actually quite a good weapon. But as I was saying, you can only really do it in this mission because I have not... I was on this map for my first playthrough. I know I haven't really... Uh, I'm not releasing a playthrough of this map. I'm just doing speedruns. But on my first playthrough uh, by myself, I managed to find zero axe heads the entire time until I got to this mission. So, uh, yeah, it's not something that would normally spawn. Uh, now, this I got kind of lucky that uh, the guy I have to beat up just happened to be taken to the medic so I just followed him in just so I can beat him up taking my time with it checking to see if he has any uh, sodas or anything good on him so we can build our intelligence later uh, now I am on the prowl for uh, for smarty which I'm no know, I'm knowing that he's gonna be at shower time and I don't want to bring the axe with me so I'm gonna leave the axe there uh, it was kind of risky a guard could have come up and taken it uh, even if they did, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but it's it does definitely help you out quite a bit. So now, this one here, we're going to have to uh, get a book from a desk, and the desk is always going to be in one of the rooms down here. And we're going to need the red key, as you guys can see right there. Guards number 1, 5, and 14 have the red key, and as you can see, uh, prisoner number 1 right there is highlighted. That's Smarty. So I'm on the lookout for one of these guards. I happen to find guard number five. So I'm going to try and lure him as close to here as I can, just so that way I have as much time with the red key as possible. Uh, I also took the med kit just in case I needed it. Now, sometimes you will have to fight a guard. I kind of got really lucky in that there were no guards, like, down here. And, you know, normally this place is kind of busy, so I got really lucky. I actually tried this uh, a couple times after this run, and this was the part that always screwed me up. Uh, the whole thing is pretty easy up until you get to here, and then it's kind of like, ow, oh, that's really hard. So we're going to go in, we're going to grab the thing, and we're just going to drop the red key. Now right here I kind of screw up real bad because I let this guard see me while the lockdown's happening. That means that I'm going to get beat up and sent to solitary, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to just stash all this stuff in my desk because I know I'm probably going to get to solitary. I was kind of hoping that the medic would come and put me in the medic room, but that didn't happen. They just took me to solitary. So again, this is another point where it kind of slows me down quite a bit. But uh, we're, we're making really good progress on the mission still. Uh, we managed to do... I think we have all of them done. Uh, this is the second to last one, so we should get to the last one. No, we have two more after this. That's right, I'm sorry. So next we have to craft a flimsy shovel, and then we have to craft the knuckle duster. Uh, now normally I don't like going into solitary during a speed run. Uh, usually I would restart that. But this one was, like I said, getting that red key thing to line up so well is just really tricky. So I figure I'd just keep going with it just to see what, what time I can get. So we're going to go up into my room. Fortunately, Smarty is right there. And uh, we're going to give him his book back. And then we are going to take the next mission and we're going to make him a shovel. Now, why he asked you to make a flimsy shovel is kind of strange. I guess... They weren't expecting you to build your intelligence anymore. I mean, you could build a, a better shovel. Um, I guess because it, it requires, um, you know, you would, in order to craft a better shovel, you need a shovel to begin with. So they're probably asking you to build just the shovel because uh, otherwise it's kind of redundant. It's like, hey, give me just like a slightly better shovel. Uh, even though the light shovel is actually quite a lot better than the flimsy shovel and the sturdy shovel is quite a lot better than the light shovel still kind of one of those things that's weird so we're gonna craft uh, I was kind of getting a little confused I thought it was 50 but it's actually only 40 intelligence but we have 50 anyway so we're gonna come down and we're gonna give the shovel to smarty at roll call 
And uh, we're going to take the last mission. Now here I have a little trouble with uh, getting the thing to trigger as I have mentioned in previous videos. I'm trying to talk to some of the prisoners uh, to get stuff from them is a pain in the butt. But we're gonna we're gonna get the knuckles, uh, the knuckle duster, and then the energy module to craft the super knuckle duster. And you do have to be very careful because sometimes with the with there being so many uh, prisoner rooms and they're on two different levels like this, it's really easy to mix up what level something is on. Uh, so we don't want to do that. Now, right there, I thought I had enough intelligence, but I wasn't sure. Um, so I just went and did it and didn't seem to work. So we're going to go back up and we're going to get the rest of our intelligence here. Uh, this shouldn't take us very long to do at all. We need to get to 60 intelligence and then we will to make our escape. He will give us a, uh, what's called a skeleton key. And we're going to use a skeleton key to escape. Okay, so we got our intelligence. We're going to craft our item. Now we just got to find Smarty and give him his stuff. Uh, he is apparently downstairs, so we're going to go down and we are going to meet up with him and get the skeleton key. Now one thing about the skeleton key you got to got to keep in mind is that it is contraband. So if uh, you get knocked out or you get caught with it or you put it somewhere, it will get taken. So do not lose it once you have it. If you want to do other stuff, I guess, before you actually escape, then keep it in your desk but we're gonna take the key and we're gonna go up here all the way up to the kind of the top of the map where some of the jobs are the pumpkin carving and stuff and uh, up in this corner room there is a casket that we're gonna use the key on and that's gonna allow us to do our escape so for the most part it seems like we hide in here and then they bury us and then we use a the key to take the secret tunnel on our way out so I did really enjoy this map. I enjoyed the theme. I, I really like the new like zombies as guards and stuff like that. Uh, I do like the axe. I think the axe should come back in like a future map somewhere. Uh, they'll make it maybe more of a like a makeshift axe of some sort. I don't know. Uh, make, so we can like make the axe head. I'm not sure how that that could work. But yeah, so we're gonna get buried. We're gonna use the key and we are gonna escape in one day. And uh, we're going to pop up in the sewer here, which is, this is one of the longer uh, escape cinematics, I guess you could call them. And uh, it's pretty good though, I do, I do like the theme, I did really like this map, and I do have uh, more, another video coming for the perimeter break that will be coming probably next week, guys. But this has been uh, Wicked Ward, A Grave Affair, Day 1 Escape, number 2 on the leaderboards, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave the video a like, comment, share, all that good stuff. If you enjoy my content and want to see more of me play, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.